Halate, and I'm about to send it on a flat top. There he is, getting ready for it. See that? That's a flat top, I'm about to fly it. Michael's letting me try it out. Um, it's gonna be interesting, never done it before. What's up? Look at that baby. Del Shanzi would be proud. Gotta get up, the trick is, cause it's heavy, you gotta lean all the way forward, and use your legs to lift it up. Okay. And then you put your hands right here, push it down, hike it up so you can stand up. You gotta get it high on your back. This has to be like so tight it's almost uncomfortable. But once you get the glider up and you lift your legs up, you're already in the seat. Okay. You just plop right in. That looks tight. It is. But once you get up, it's loose as all can be. Okay. Make you into a woman. Then, oh, it's a right-hand throttle too, yay. One one extra I, thing I'm not used to. I was never used to it either, but it's actually really easy. Okay. Um, and then to sit down, you just, just be sure don't sit back to where you fall backwards. Okay. Just... Quick release. All right, guys, doing the flat top thing. All right, so sit in this bad boy like a chair. And then this guy comes up here. Cross through there. Velcro that. That's the quick. One foot under, lean forward, and up. Alright. Am I recording? Yep. Cool. How do you warm this guy up? How long? So, what I do is start it, and then what you want to do. Is get into the dead pose. Yeah. And be sure it goes full throttle. Okay. And then once it does, you're fine. Okay. Just get up, pull your kite up, kite it, and then turn around. Now. And you hold uh, brakes like this. Exactly, just like that. Okay. And then um, remember, these are going to be a little bit closer than you're used to, so when it comes up, it'll be kind of in your face. Yeah. So what you have to do is kind of back up and turn, and then. Kinda back up and turn. Okay. All right, so this is what's happening. We're about to warm up the Moser 185 on the flat top. He's pretty much babying me through this. Oh, right. smooth. All right, next step is figure out this guy. This is gonna be weird. Right hand, we got a right hand throttle and holding brakes differently. All right, bring the wing up. I'll probably end up setting it down a couple times just to practice. Hopefully not. Holy crap, I'm launching a flat top. Oh, flat top launch. Oh my gosh. We're flying a freaking flat top. What? This is nuts out, man. All right, first review. Let's see what I think about this guy. It's wide. Man, it's wide. Like, that's different. It's actually comfortable. I feel weird turning right now. We'll get used to it. All right, it's also a monster, so it's gonna be extra power. Let's try that out. <laughs> oh yeah. Climbing to the moon in this thing. This is so weird. Where, you see where my brake is? The index finger is on uh, the throttle, and then we got like, my two bottom fingers right there. Super weird. I'm flying a freaking flat top. Del Shanzi style over here. This is different. Del Shanzi would be proud. I could probably just come in, turn off the engine, let my feet up and just land on my butt and I'd be fine. This crumple zone would save my life.
Maybe I'll come in for a foot drag. <laughs> Flat top foot drag. Yeah, buddy. Heck yeah. Yeah, it definitely goes off to the right. It just has this whole different freaking feel to it. I don't know how to explain it. Like, all right, I'm gonna go full power. Oh yeah, this thing cranks to the right when you go full power, like big time. I'm gonna get all the way left in the seat, put some left weight shift in, and we're gonna hit this power. That actually helps a lot. But I'm still turning right eventually. It helps. A little weight shift's keeping me straight. I'm not used to this climb angle. I get it's going. Let's get some altitude and maybe try some baby wingovers or something. If you get in the right, you do a hard right turn full power. Like, look at this. No brake inputs. And look how far I'm turning to the right. You really gotta, really gotta get to the left. Freaking flat top, man. I could probably fall out of the sky right here. Like the wing just explode into a fiery blaze. And I would land, you know, fall 500 feet and be perfectly fine in this thing. That's a joke, by the way, I would definitely die. So this is my first time on a Moster 185 and a flat top. Dude, I feel like I'm gonna fall backwards. Weird. Yeah, this thing torques mad to the right. Like, uh, like he was saying, you gotta really shift your whole body to the left side, because the seat is wide. Oh, I got a Blackhawk Reserve on here too. This is weird. Okay, baby wing overs and stuff. Let's do this. Okay. <laughs> Whoa, that was weird feeling for some reason. No, it's going all right. Barrel roll the flat top. <laughs> Heck yeah, it works out. It wasn't that weird. Oh, I think I hit the kill switch. Guess we're coming in to land. Because I have no idea where this pull start is. Well, engine out on the flat top. <laughs> no light behind me. We'll get out on the pavement. I think I probably hit the kill switch. I'm not used to that. <laughs> Flat top engine out. Piece of junk. Just kidding. It's totally my fault. I don't know how the, it's a weird angle. He's coming to save the day. Ah, this thing is really tight on the, on the old scrotum. Oh, two hands, okay. Yeah, I think I hit the kill switch probably right. to, on the wing overs. Does it ever die on you? Mm -mm. Yeah, it's probably a kill switch. Cool. <laughs> I got it, this will this will be good though that we had an engine out over here because It'll force me to take off and practice again. Yeah, it has a hard torque to the right. I sat on the left side, left side, and put my foot over, and it was pretty good. Yeah, what? You're in the right spot. Okay. Good. Still weird holding no throttle on the left. All right, let's do this. There it is. <laughs> Woo! Blackhawk takeoff number two. I mean, flat top. Did I say Blackhawk or flat top? They sound a lot alike. Flat top. 
Feeling like Del Shanzi. This is what it's like. The flying toilet, some people say. That's a long uh, throttle cable right there. You see that resting in that netting? But, you know, hey, this doesn't have the, the flat top netting. I just realized that the flat top netting is like plastic and super hard. And this is like not plastic. It must have changed it out. I don't think you could stand on a soup can with this one. I think next up, I might try the Dominator on the Nitro or something if he lets me. I don't try many wings. Uh, this guy's super friendly and uh, it's a freaking Dominator, man. You gotta try it, it's like the unicorn of the sport. Put this guy away. Holy crap, the throttle cable wraps around the cage. I don't like that. Cause I don't know how far out the prop sticks. Ah, if only my right hand was available. It available so I probably like put my thumb here on those last wing overs and just killed it you can go up or down all right all right first turn do a little weight shift outside break <laughs> oh it's the freaking flat top I feel like we're doing this ah, maybe a little more effort than I'm used to I'm also hitting the throttle. Did I kill it again? I think I killed it again. I killed it. Let's see. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Full start in flight is a success. We have proven the flat top can restart in flight. It's a miracle. Looks like uh, I think we got plenty of gas. If not, I could probably run out and crash on the ground. I'll be fine because it's a flat top. I'll probably come back and land. I like how mine feels better. Nitro's where it's at. All right, flat top landing number two, except this one's intentional. Let's kill it. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah. Cool. It was good. Yeah, once you're in the air, it's good. Yeah. Once you're in the air, you don't really like it on the ground that much? Yeah. It's too tight. It's tight. But it needs to be that way cuz it just literally just pops in the seat. Yeah. I kept killing the engine. I think I, I did that when I first started flying it. Kind of put your thumb on there. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think that's what it must have been. I got it started on that. You see me working it? Yeah, I saw you up there. I'm like, uh-uh. <laughs> I was in a good position to come back here, though. Those two fingers, it'll kick right over. It was just like I didn't know where to pull the handle through, like all the harnessing. You just go, uh-uh. Yeah. And then you come right up. Cool, man. Well, thanks for letting me fly it. Do you let this dangle? I just drop it through here like that. OK. But I'd sit down first because then it's so much easier. You get some weight off your back and then just take it off. Okay. But sit down, sit back. Um. One cool feature is that you just can sit down and do everything. That's neato. Oh, check it out. I'm in the water. I'm in the water. Bail, bail, bail. Look at that. And we're out. I like how fast you can get out of it. So, as you saw, I just finished flying flat top. It was different. It was different. I think you heard my review for the whole thing, but I'm glad I did it. <laughs> I don't usually try other people's equipment, but I'm glad I tried the flat top. Um, and now I'm gonna try the Dominator. I'm gonna try the Dominator on the Nitro to keep half my equipment, half someone else's, so I'm comfortable. I'm excited about that one too.